New. A distanced meet and greet. You want to get a picture over here, honey? Thank you. So that was nice meeting Elsa. Haven't seen her in a very long time. Trying to figure out what I want to try next. I want to note that Todd is a vegetarian. I eat a lot of meat. So most stuff I get usually has some type of meat in it. Whether we're at Disney or not, you want me. So right now I'm looking at the Hanami booth in Japan. And there's something called the soy glazed pork shank with truffle mashed potatoes, crispy lotus flower, garlic chips, and green onion. I think I want to try that. Well, that's, there's a, a lot between here and there. But that's one thing I want to try. Uh huh. Well, there's, between here and there, there's China. That's true. China. There's nothing really on here that I want to try. I mean, I don't want the brushy. I think that's the thing. I think. Or is that a, yeah, that's brushy that Hanami. I don't know, we'll see. There's uh, also Germany, mm -hmm. I think Italy. Yeah. Maybe America is even before Japan. We shall, yeah, Italy, they. Good afternoon. Have yeah. a great day. Yeah, we got Italy, China, Germany, got the refreshment outpost, America Adventure, China, obviously, before Japan. So we'll see, maybe I'll look at a right. menu. And normally I just look at the menu, so we'll just pull up this menu and see what I want to try. And gift card, Disney gift card is my way to go. So is there anything that you wanted from China? Bubble tea. You know what I want, bubble tea. All right. So what? I'm gonna get. I think they changed the name of it to Corona, though. The the pavilion. It's, you, it's not proper to call it the China Pavilion anymore. You have to call it Corona Pavilion. They are something. selling. Now I want, I want to let you know two things. They are selling boba tea at the festival. Okay. But when there isn't even a festival, there's a place called Joy of Tea. That's where I get my boba, my bubble tea. I'm gonna go get some. It's peach. All right. And there's the wine of frozen. Yep. Big line for frozen. There's people here, and it'll wrap around the side of the building. And you go way back there to that gate, and then wrap around the side of this other building. So, you, in other words, you have to come all the way from China to get to the Norway Pavilion to ride Frozen. That these people are all in line for Frozen. Let's see, let's see how far it goes. Nice thing about Here's the person at the end of line sign right there. So, the line starts here. You gotta, you gotta go through this maze and then uh, I don't mean corn. And then you go uh, over here, all the way around. So it's just madness. The, the China basically has been annexed and usurped, or is it usurped? Is it usurped or usurped? Or I served? Well, I didn't serve, that's for sure. And uh, it's, anyway, it's been taken over by, by Norway. Who would think, you would think the opposite would have happened. You'd think China would just take over everything. But in fact, Norway has taken over China. They've got people waiting in line for their sort of Norway. I mean, you know, frozen obviously doesn't occur in Norway, but a lot of the scenery and what have you are inspired 
by Norway. So that's why it's in the Norway Pavilion. That's that's how you squeeze that IP in there. Get it right, shove it right in there. So she's at the joy of tea now. Dottie's going to get some boba tea. And boba just comes from, uh, you know, uh, Far East Asianers mispronouncing bubble. It, it's called bubble tea. And then it became boba tea from people. Oh, bubble tea. And just kind of mispronouncing the word bubble. And what it is is big balls of tapioca. When I say big, I mean, they're not that big. But, you know, they're about this big. <laughs> they're not that big. They're about, I don't know, up to half an inch in some teas. Sometimes only a quarter of an inch in diameter. And, uh, you know, it's just something to choke on while you're trying to drink the tea through a straw. They just come up the straw. Choop, 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 and just, you know, shoot right into your throat. Now, they're very chewy. Tapioca is what it is. Balls of tapioca. Also known as sabudana. And she's going to get one of these teas. Favorite non-alcoholic drink here in Lily's over here is the peach bubble tea. I get it with light ice. I don't have a sip. I haven't had one in months, really. And what flavor is it? Peach. Peach. Light ice. Really good. So it's milk tea, as you can see. We're here in the China Pavilion. You can't see, it's kind of obscured by this bamboo. So, you know, this bamboo is very interesting. It can grow up to six stories tall. Some of it, seven stories. But that's a whole other story. You can see the little balls in there. They're chewy. The tapioca, also known as sago. Are you alright? Okay. There you go. Set these down there as a, as a base for your drink and you can set your drink on top of that. And then we're going to continue around uh, the World Showcase now. Well, here we go. Something I suddenly became concerned about is 